How to trust God with my finances as a Christian entrepreneur. Hey girls, my name is Jenna and today I will be talking about financial freedom as Christian entrepreneurs. Not necessarily just financial freedom as the world defines it, as in you don't have any debt or you have a lot of money in the bank, that type of financial freedom, you know what I mean? That also is the definition of it. But what I'm going to be talking about today is how the does God's kingdom define financial freedom and how do we trust God as Christian entrepreneurs with our finances you know what I mean it can really get so really really tough a lot of times so if you want to know what I have to say then I invite you to keep on watching by the way before you keep on watching please subscribe if you're new to this channel and you're interested in kingdom entrepreneurship topics and like and share this video as well okay that's it keep on watching i have three things for you today and number one is plant his word the bible in your heart and i know that seems pretty generic for every christian content right there but even for you as a christian entrepreneur how do you trust god with your finances it's really like you gotta get in the word of god you gotta get his promises into your heart and into your mind promises such as deuteronomy 3 8 18 it says God is the one who gave us the ability to create wealth and that is a promise for him that hey you know I didn't grow up with an entrepreneur family I don't have it in my blood I did not study a degree in business like whatever your reason may be you know it's not those things that will give you the ability to create wealth anyway it's still God who is the one who gives us the ability to create wealth so those types of verses will be able to help you seek the truth of who and what God promised for you another verse is Matthew 6 33 this is my ultimate favorite kingdom entrepreneurship verse seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you and it's not about seeking money first seeking fame first seeking you know all these other worldly things first it's seeking God's kingdom and what does his kingdom mean what like and so it's really learning what his kingdom is all about like what did Jesus preach about and that and that's very important for us because when you are a kingdom entrepreneur when you are a Christian who follows Jesus and you are called in the space of entrepreneurship to create Eight businesses it has to help other people and not just to help people as in it will help people and give you a lot of money and then you'll be famous and then at the end of the day it is actually about you but actually helping people right from the get-go coming from God because you seek first God's kingdom am I making sense I used to be a Christian entrepreneur I'm just gonna lean back like here because you know podcast type of content right but anyway I used to be a Christian entrepreneur that I while I wanted to help other people and my family did and we did help a lot of people but still the goal for the business was to make money and the goal for us as kingdom entrepreneurs is not to make money that is an added thing that is not the main goal the main goal is still to love god love people and so if your business is actually stepping on other people then how are you even loving god and loving people in that so that makes you question if you are running your business god's kingdom way does that make sense so knowing verses like that and studying it and reflecting on it and allowing the holy spirit to really make that come alive for you is very important am i making sense another verse is proverbs 3 5 to 6 we're talking about trust right so how do we trust god memorize verses on many instances that god has called us to trust him for example this verse proverbs 3 5 to 6 trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight and so it says trust him wisdom says trust in the lord with all your heart and a lot of times when we're anxious we don't trust god at all right because we are so filled 
with our own control. But if your heart is filled with God, I'm going to tell you that you're not going to be anxious because you're choosing to trust God. And I'm not here to give you some Bible studies, but really to point you to the Word of God where to encourage you, girl, get into the Word of God and pro memorize these verses, get into your head. My other question is, what promises has God spoken over your life? You know, maybe some prophets like prophesied it over you, some friends like encourage you with that and it has really um, resonated with you for years and maybe it's just last week but god has spoken to you through those verses what are they write them down and what are god's promises for the nations revival right and what do you have to do with that how does that have anything to do with me trusting god in my finances it's because if you can trust what god has said in his word about blessing nations and then when he blessed nations you in turn will also be blessed because you're part of that nation does that make sense that's why we pray for salvation for nations we pray and intercede for nations for freedom and for breakthrough because we are parts of these nations how can we run a business right if the nation is not allowing us to do that like right like it's just it just makes it more difficult and so we are tasked as kingdom people to pray and intercede for our nations because god wants to bless nations as much as he wants to bless you individually so that is number one plant his word right into your heart girl get to number two know your heavenly father and i know that's related to number one but with this one i really want to encourage you to be intentional with your relationship with your heavenly father because our heavenly father promised that he will never leave us nor forsake us that if he has provided for the ravens in the air you know the birds in the air right and the li lilies in the field and you know that he dressed them up and how much more us that we are his children how much more are you that you are his child will he not provide for you that's one of the basic things that god even can just give to us get deeper in your relationship with the heavenly father get to know him more become more intimate with him again he is your provider he is your protector he is jehovah he is jehovah jireh let's get to number three remember i kept talking about the kingdom of god and it's good to know that the kingdom of god is an upside down kingdom so however the world teaches financial freedom you gotta not spend beyond what you can afford beyond your means and i'm talking as a christian entrepreneur maybe your budget for your business is only a hundred dollars for example right you start with a hundred dollars and and it's good to stick to that budget but what if the holy spirit told you to sow that a hundred dollars into someone else's ministry you'll be like a, a regular person will be like what the heck like why will i even do that um it does not make sense that's not, not a logical um strategy like why will i give the money that i intend to purchase these things so that I can start my business why would I give that to someone else I don't have money for that someone else if I have extra I can give them so that's what a regular ordinary person would do but in the kingdom of God he is your guide and so giving is actually a principle in the kingdom of God and so I'm not just saying random things and random foolish decisions it, go, it has to be wise and it has to be aligned with God. It's, it's foolish, you know, the example I have, that's foolish in the eyes of the world, but that's not foolish in the eyes of God, that's wisdom, because he can trust you, that you will obey him in the little things that he asked you. Am I making sense? And so I've experienced this a lot, like God spoke to me so clearly, confirmed it to me. And so it did take a lot of sacrifice to really obey, and do what he is asking me to do even if i cannot see it you know god you're saying that this is what i should do but i cannot see i don't have any seed money like 
I don't know, like, are you really asking me to do this? And he's like, yep, test me on this, test me on this. And anyway, I know I'm pretty vague with that example, but one day, actually, I'm going to have a Kingdom Wealth workshop that I'm going to be talking about this and I'm going to give a masterclass on how I was able to close um, a six figure deal uh, with real estate without any real estate experience and only using Kingdom strategies and of, of course being led by the Spirit of God. So anyway, if you're interested with that, you should subscribe to our She Strategy Co membership community because it's free. Um, that's a free workshop inside the community or you can just purchase a separate ticket type in kingdom below and i'll send you a link I'm really gonna encourage you to just join our community because you're gonna get that workshop plus more plus coaching plus the community plus a bunch of other things that will help you in the in your entrepreneurial journey anyway i just had to say that but going back to the topic and i remember um apostle tommy told me said this before like you know what 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 is a bad idea to the world you know is a good idea to god um something like that but it never left my mind because i was like uh, many of the business decisions i've made really seemed like a bad idea like i would really be careful to share them to other people especially specific ones like specific business decisions because i already have a hard enough time not to doubt you know to keep choosing faith in god and to keep trusting god without having other people who are so negative and so logical and practical and not really completely filled by the spirit of god so just not reliable people like if i share it to them what value are they going to add onto me like no like they're just going to discourage me and i myself in turn will just be discouraged but i need to just share it to god and whoever the lord allows me to share it with which i have done that in the past as well but sometimes god really just asks us you know to make decisions that does not make sense and so like jenna how do i trust god with my finances by choosing to trust him because he says that he will make the foolish things in the world confound the wise and let me tell you, I hope that's happening in your life because it's kind of like a, a proof that we are living the kingdom type of life. Use the community, but trustworthy people and the ones that the Holy Spirit lead you to. I would say that this is really a personal conviction and it depends on the level of faith and grace that God has given you for that. Do not force anything, you know, if it's without the peace coming from God if it's not aligned with the Word of God and has to be approved by trusted peers as well who are spirit-filled Christians and mentors that you trust does that make sense just don't go alone and be a lone wolf I'm not saying that but you will be completely set apart from the world and if you know, just like Joshua and Caleb, they were completely, their faith was next level compared to the other 10 um, spies. And so be that person with the radical faith, with kingdom entrepreneurship mindset. Don't worry about your finances. Trust your heavenly father, right? That's my number two point. And the number one is actually to get into the word, like really get that into your heart. And number three is to know and remember that the kingdom of God is an upside down kingdom. So you will really make decisions that are different from the world. And so that is the true financial freedom that you can have but i'm teaching you that you can have that freedom now if you choose to trust god if you choose to submit to god if you choose to to completely get to know your heavenly father and if you choose to live that kingdom life that's financial freedom for you so please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more of these kingdom entrepreneurship types of content and also join us in the membership community if you're a christian woman who is also not just as an entrepreneur but you're someone that god has called to advance his kingdom in the digital space we need you girl you need us you need community join in the community and that's it love you and share this share this video to bless other people as well all right i'll see you in the next video bye